Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Brandy Melville try on haul slash collection. I have all of my stuff from Brandy Melville ever down here and um, it's a lot. I've just put it in a Victoria's Secret bag so that I can like have it all together but this whole bag is absolutely full and this pair of jeans and I'm wearing Brandy Melville right now. So yeah, I have a fair bit. Um, Brandy Melville only has one store in Australia. They opened a store in Bondi, I think late last year. I'm not 100% on that, but they only have one store in Australia and it is like kind of close to me. So um, I have been there. Um, I'm not 100% on the brand of Brandy Melville just because, you know, the sizing isn't for everybody. Um, it is barely for me. I only own one dress from Brandy Melville because of the one size thing. The dresses are too big on me. The pants are too long on me. The main thing that I enjoy getting from Brandy Melville is tops because tops are like, I feel like they can fit a bigger range of people even though they're just one size. But um, yeah, I don't really like the one size thing. So I just wanted to like clarify that I don't really support the brand on that. Um, but yeah, this is everything that I have from Brandy Melville. And if you'd like to see what I have, then please keep on watching. First, I'll just show you what stickers I have. They used to have stickers at the front of the store and you could just grab them whenever you wanted, but um, they don't now. So you have to purchase something to get stickers, but I already have a load of stickers. So I'll show you what I have. Um, I have the Hawaii sticker that's like got the blue kind of surfing pattern on it. Um, and I also have that in red. It just looks like this. Um, I have the Meet Me in New York sticker. This is also uh, on the back of my black phone case. So that's what my phone case looks like. It just is the girl saying, um, I'll meet you in New York. Um, and then these like jars I have over here also have stickers in them. Um, so this jar has um, one I'll meet you in New York like eyes sticker that looks like this. Um, and then I also have the Chill Sims 1993 Paris version. So it just looks like that. So yeah, that's what's in that tin. Um, I also have like a load more of the like Chill Sims designs. This is the Chill Sims Tested Bath design. So it just looks like that. I also have um, this little um, like natives of Golden Coast like circle one. I really like this stick. I think that's really cute. I have a Chill Sims um, Florida one, which just looks like this. And then I also have this Chill Sims um, Osaka one, which just looks like this. By the way, if I have a sticker that you really want, hit me up on Depop and I can send it to you. I also have the um, New York City Yellow Rat Bastard one, which just looks like this. It's got a little yellow rat on it. And then I also have um, this one as well. This one says Chill Sims Aspen, so it just looks like that. And it's just the Aspen design. So yeah, those are all of my stickers from Brandy Melville. Now I'll get into some like accessories and clothing. So the first thing from Brandy Melville that I have to show you guys today is the dress I'm wearing. I think this is called the Audrey dress, but I'm not 100% sure because I haven't actually seen it online yet, but um, I purchased this at the store. So the top of it just looks like this. It has like this white kind of like trim along the sides and it has this really cute little like white bow in the middle. Um, I only own one dress from Brandy Melville just because their dresses are always really long on me but this one actually fits like cute it's not like really really long a lot of the time they come down to like here on me and they look like not something that I'd wear so yeah this one like actually fits me it's the only dress I've ever found from Brandy Melville which actually fits me um and so yeah this is like a really cute dress in my opinion it's kind of like a dark navy color and I'm obsessed with it this is like one of my favorite casual dresses ever the next top that I have from Brandy is the pink a like bell cheetah print top so it just looks like this it's really cute I love um, the way this fits I like just like the cut of um, the like neckline here um, it just has like the same like little lacy um, black like trim but without being like too lacy because I'm not really into lace it has a little black bow in the middle here and it's in this like pink cheetah print um, by the way with all of the stuff I'll be showing today I'm not gonna be wearing a bra with any of it just because I wear my brandy stuff without a bra I just feel like um, it's more comfortable that way and I don't like the way straps look under things a lot of the time so yeah that's what my um, next top looks like I heard that this was a rare like top on Depop but then I saw a load of people selling it so I don't know if it's really rare but rare um I also have scrunchies to match so I have a pink scrunchie which is like the exact same print um and this is really cute and soft and I feel like the elastic inside is like really decent and then I also have this um same scrunchie in blue these of course I just was able to find in store I also have one more scrunchie that I can't find right now I'll chuck in a picture of it it's the yellow like ribbed scrunchie that That one's really cute too, but I have no idea where I've put it. It's like run around my bedroom somewhere. So yeah, um, cheetah prints, crunchies, and pink top. The next brandy top I have is the I'll meet you in New York top. So it's just got the girl pattern on it. And she's like, I'll meet you in New York. 
Um, it's really cute. This is a gift from my friend Laura. Thank you, Laura. I love this top. It's so cute. Um, it's not the like tight version of the divine. It's like the loose version of the top. But yeah, it's still cute and I really like it. Also, while I'm here, I'll show you the shorts that I'm wearing. These are also from Brandy. And these are the waffle shorts. I only own three pairs of bottoms from Brandy and they're all um, pants just because the skirts are really long on me and they don't fit me at all like they literally come right off so unfortunately I can't like fit any of the skirts they sell but I can fit some of their bottoms that are pants so yeah I own one pair of shorts from them and these are the shorts they are the grey waffle shorts they've got like this waffle texture on the side they have pockets which is really cute and I like how they have a dolphin like hem here which is like a really sweet detail um, it just ties at the front here if you want to and yeah they're just grey waffle shorts and the shorts are super duper comfortable I really like them the next top I have is the Amara tank I really like the look of some of the Amara dresses but unfortunately they're so big on me so I don't have any Amara dresses but I do have the Amara like tank top it just looks like this um, this one is the black one and it just like I don't know if you can see but it just crisscrosses here in the front so it's got that cute detail I feel like it fits really well and I've heard some people say um, it's a bit short for them I like that it's this short um, but it's a nice length on me so yeah I really like the Amara tank and I also have it in white I'm not gonna show um, me trying it on in white because it fits exactly the same but I just really like the Amara tank I think it's a really flattering cut and so yeah I have this in black and white because it's just like so flattering and I like the length of it, it's really cute in my opinion. It just like hits at exactly the right spot. So yeah, that is the Amara top. The next top that I have is the Connor top. It's just like a ribbed cropped tank top. It's just like got a raw hem at the edge. So um, it's just like cut, but it doesn't like fray or anything. It's just like raw. And then these are the, I can't remember. I feel like it's the Linden sweatpants. They're just the plain black sweatpants that everyone has. This is what the ends look like. And um, I like these sweatpants also because you can wear them like high-waisted, like I can pull them up or I can pull them down and have them like more low-waisted. These sweatpants are so thick and comfortable. They have pockets and they're just like the perfect amount of bunchy. Like these are probably my favorite gray sweatpants ever. They're just like the perfect gray sweatpants. They are so comfortable and so like cute and comfy. Um, and I wear them all the time. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. These were the first two items I ever purchased from Brandy and they just like are such good basics that they got me hooked. The next top that I have from Brandy is so cute. It's this cowgirl top. It's just like a cropped little like baby tee and I just love the fit of this. Like the crop of this is perfect. It's just like such a cute little top and I love the little cowgirl print in the little font here. I also love how this top like kind of plays into the cowgirl trend going on right now. It's just like a really cute little cowgirl crop top I love the length I just cannot get over this like how cute is this little crop top it's so sweet and then these pants are my brandy muzzle pants as well I don't know what the name of them is but they're the carpenter pants with like the loop here so they just look like this and they're so cute on oh, they fit like perfectly um, which is so rare because um, a lot of the time Brady Melville jeans are like really big on me or just like hang loose but these actually have like an adjustable um, like button inside so I can make them tighter if I want so they fit pretty good now but when they um, like loosen up I can always like tighten them again with that button which is really nice I am also too short for the jeans so I like cuff them like once or twice to make them like fit me a bit better but um, I really love the fit of these pants like I just think they're like a really cute cut and design so um, I do love these jeans this is probably my like most worn pair of jeans at this current moment just because they're so like trendy and like I love the way the carpet jeans fit they're just like small around the waist and they like flare out on the leg really cutely so yeah love this top and these pants so yeah on the carpenter jeans they just look like this they have the pockets at the back they have that little like loop on one of the pockets at the back just like I think it's for a tool or something because they are carpenter pants and um, the front just look like this they cinch in at the waist and flare out towards the leg which I do of course cuff and then on the other side of the back pocket they have this like double pocket thing as well which is really cute um, and yeah I just love the color and wash of these jeans as well I just think it's really versatile and it works with so many of my tops all of my tops go with these pants because they're so cute and basic and essential and then I also have one more thing from Brandy to show you guys today and that is this little cardigan I don't remember what it was called but it's the brown cardigan with the white buttons if that makes sense 
um, I'm not sure what it's called, but I'll just try it on and show you what it looks like. It's a really nice soft rib material um, and it's like really nice quality. Something I wanted to say about Brandy Melville clothes is they're of like a higher quality than like cotton on clothes, if that makes sense. Um, a lot of them say on the tag that they're made in Italy, which is obviously a lot like higher quality of like a place to produce things than some other places where things are made. So yeah, a lot of these things are made in Italy and I can really tell the difference in quality. They don't like fall apart as easily. They survive being washed a lot better than some of my like cheaper like cotton on Supre kind of items would. I still do like my Supre basics. I just feel like Brady Melville's um, clothing is like a really nice like soft material a lot of the time and it's like a really good quality um, So this is just what the cardigan looks like on. It's really cute I love the way this looks with my like hair color as well I just feel like it's really flattering on my like coloring skin tone and stuff um, I'll do up one button so that it's like this is how I'd wear it maybe Like this kind of a vibe. I just think it's so cute um, and I chose the brown just because I don't know I didn't have a lot of brown and brown's really trendy this season I just thought it was really cute with like my skin coloring and stuff so I went for the brown um, cardigan so yeah I really like this cute little brown cardigan and that is everything I have from Brandy Melville. I kind of wish Brandy Melville would stop being a one size store and just like market themselves as like either a normal store and like sell sizes or become like a petite store and just like say it as it is and be like this is clothes for small people and like maybe make a range of small sizes because not every small person is the same small size, do you know what I mean? Because like obviously not every small person is the same so I just like to see a little bit more inclusivity, also maybe a bit more diversity in the girls that work there. Um, I don't know but I haven't seen anyone of colour at the Bondi store before but maybe I just haven't been there when they've been working but um, I have been there a couple of times as you can tell by the size of my brandy collection so maybe. My tips for shopping at Brandy Melville would be don't buy things overpriced on Depop. It's not worth it for a crop top to pay like, I don't know what they're going for, like 50 bucks for a crop top, that's not it. So yeah, I'd avoid Depop. I'd also say try everything on in store just because everything fits differently and even like different items fit differently when they're the same item. So like I tried on like a couple of this dress before I found one that fit me. I, f I had a feeling like that this dress could fit me. I've tried on a couple of other dresses before and like none of the dresses ever like have worked out. But this one worked out because the straps were shorter on this one than the other ones in the store. Like I feel like the sizing isn't like consistent. Um, and like this one was a little bit cut shorter than the other dresses in store. So yeah, just try on everything because you don't know how it's going to look until you try it on. I feel like sometimes I look at something in store and I'm like, oh my goodness, that's so cute. I try it on and I don't feel cute in it. So do, you know, give everything a go before you purchase it because it is a fair bit of money to be spending on like such a basic item of clothing. I always make sure I really, really love something before I do pick it up from Brandy's price point. I hope you liked this like try on haul slash collection. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment anything you'd like to see from me in future down below. Um, subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. Let me know below what your favorite item from Brandy Melville is. I'd love to know. Because yeah, I don't really know what item is my favorite because I purchased them all. They're all my favorites. I don't buy something unless I like really, really love it, especially from Brandy. It's kind of a bit more expensive. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in a future video soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.